Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Mi nombre es Eric. Tenemos otro video con nuestros invitados. Aquí son nuestros amigos de República Dominicana. ¿Qué tal? Hola. Ahí. Yo soy Sol y yo soy Luna y somos de Sol en Luna TV. Lo que vamos a hacer es le voy a decir algunas palabras en Tagalog, en pronunciación Tagalog y ellos lo van a como explicar, tratar de explicar qué significan esas palabras en Tagalog. Es como Tagalog versus Spanish o Tagalog versus Dominicanos, pues. Suena bien. Suena difícil. Vamos a ver qué tal nos va. Vamos, pues. Hígado. Hígado. Liver. 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 Good. Ok, next. Ídolo. 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 Así yeah. idol. 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 Como, como que. How do you explain idol? idol? It's like a god. Mm. A goddess. Well, now in the context of artists, mm -hmm. now they call them idols. You yes. can call them idol too. Ok, yeah. good. Campante. Campante is like a person who is aware. Ajá. Like, campante. Do they use the word in that context here? No, it's no. it's a little bit different. Campante in Tagalog. Is well, it same related mean. to campana? No, campante here it's like you're relaxed, estás oh. tranquilo. Yeah, campante is like you're doing your own thing. Uh -huh. You're not aware of the situation. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly like that. In Spanish, this is in Spanish the same. But like, uh -huh. <laughs> it's good. But it's like, good. People don't use those words anymore. That's like a very old word. Very old way of saying it. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Here we use it. Uh, it's still. Like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, uh -huh. Nobody says that anymore. That's uh -huh. all. Like, oh. <laughs> Ahora usa más relax y uh -huh. chill. Tranquilo, Ajá. chill. Uh -huh. Words that come from English. Okay. English, yeah. Okay, next. Limos. 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 Limosina. No, no sé me qué suena es limos. de nada. Limón. Limosna. Oh, wow. Pero le falta una sílaba. Ah, uh, claro, <laughs> yes. But what does it mean? You understand limosna. it, right? Limosna is like when people ask for for stuff. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, in Tagalog, I don't know how limos. Say that in English. Uh-huh. How do you say that in English? Like charity or your caridad, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. You give Arms. Some coins to, exactly. to the people on the street. Right. Okay. <laughs> Good. Next. Lechugas. Lechuga. Lechuga. Yeah. But now with S. Lechugas is plural. For mm -hmm. us. For you, it's only one, right? For us, it's always lechugas. Oh, it's never <laughs> lechuga. <laughs> ah, okay. Like cebuyas. Uh huh. Like that. Novia. Novia. Novia is the bride. Or girlfriend. Or yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, numero. Numero. Bilang. That means number. Bilang, uh -huh. You see, you know a lot of Tagalog. <laughs> Good. A lot of spoken English. Oficina. Oficina with F. Uh -huh. Office. Office. The office in English. Okay, ordinario. Ordinario is the same in Spanish. Okay, good. Next, paciencia. 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 But, but in Tagalog, that means sorry. Right? Uh -huh. In Spanish, paciencia is like patience. So, so quite similar as well. Mm -hmm. But we say it paciencia, you we say, say it paciencia. We say paciencia. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Next, panaderia. Panaderia, panaderia yeah. is the same. Panaderia. panaderia. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, parroquia. 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 Uh -huh. Rolling your arse. <laughs> <laughs> We're not used to that. Yeah. Parroquia. So what's a parroquia? Yeah, mm -hmm. the church, but like very old and big church. Uh -huh. There's a band be. here, Parroquia, parroquia Nedgar. Oh, Parroquia Nedgar. Galing, galing, it's good. What's the name? Chito. Okay, yeah, Chito. Chito, Chito Miranda. Miranda. Uh -huh. We love you, Chito. He's cool. <laughs> He's very cool. He's very cool, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next. Fianza. 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 Fianza is like the, when you the pay, money that you pay. When to get someone out of the jail. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly the same, fianza. That, what's the name of that in English? Eh? Like bail. Bail. Oh, yes. bail in English. Bail. We have obligado. Obligado. Mandatory. That means forced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mandatory. Mandatory, you have to do it. Okay, good. Razón. 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 Razón en oh, Spanish. Razón. Razón. Ah, 
Ah, en Tagalog, ah, razón. Ay, soy vos razón, como, oh, you're right. Uh -huh. y, y tienes la razón. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, es razón así. It means like a piece a, of something, a, a portion. A portion, a portion. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. A portion of something. Good. Okay, next. Sacrificio. 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 With F in Spanish. You guys uh, erase all the F. <laughs> you put so that's a uh, sacrifice. Sastre. Sastre. Sastre, like the person, the who, person who make clothes. clothes mm -hmm. right? so, How do you say it? In sastre. Spanish? Sastre. sastre. Uh -huh. okay. So in Tagalog is sastre. Sastre. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> galing, so galing. You pronounce like the, the tilde uh -huh. is the last syllable. Mm -hmm. oh, we have I a lot of that. First one. Yeah, we have a lot like that. Sundalo. Sundalo. This one doesn't, doesn't sound, sound like anything in Spanish. Sundalo. 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 Soldado? Soldado, oh, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. No rely. Uh -huh. Sundalo, so soldado. They, they translated sol for son. Uh -huh. Or maybe the same, they misheard it. No, pero es dalo interrogado. Uh -huh. Sundalo, soldado. Yo les, yeah. les tiré algo ahí para... <laughs> <laughs> it it kind of sounds here. like, right? <laughs> sounds like. Maybe the Philippines were like listening, but they didn't really hear properly, right? Oh, okay. And then they kept saying that it. That happens. Yeah. Subasta. Subasta in auction. Uh -huh. yeah. Auction. Okay, good. Next. Social. 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 Oh, socio is an associate. Uh-huh, where is it? Socio in Spanish. Uh-huh, which means? Associate. Uh-huh, like a... business partner. A business partner, yeah. exactly. So it's the same, socio. Yeah. yeah. Socio. Okay. That's the pronunciation. Is yeah, right. your socio pronunciation and is socio. very English. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Our pronunciation is socio. Uh-huh, yeah, for us, socio. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, next. Chismis. Chismes. 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 Uh -huh. That one you know, yeah. Chismes. 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 Gossip. Gossip, exactly. <laughs> Toalia. Toalia. Toalla. Toalla, exactly. <laughs> toalia, toalla, yes. Toalla is the towel. The same, the towel. Yeah. Okay, good. Next, Universidad. Universidad. Uh -huh. University. Good. Okay, last one's Baca. Vaca, 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 Vestido. Vestido. vaca, uh -huh. dress. 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 And lastly, we have zapatero. Zapatero. What's a zapatero? In Spanish, but the shoemaker uh, is, is with Z. We spell it with Z, but we pronounce it like with S. At least in Latin America, we say zapatero, like, exactly. like with S mm -hmm. instead of Z. The shoemaker, a person who makes shoes. Mm -hmm. Or repairs shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it could repair. Good, good. So, how was that Spanish versus Tagalog? Was it easy for you guys? What did you think about that exercise? It was very easy. I thought it was going to be more difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> like the pronunciation was exactly almost like in Spanish. Yeah. So it was so easy for us to find out which was the word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but then there was another word that were difficult. The, like the like mousse, like suntalo. Uh -huh. yeah, those are, we have never heard of it. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And... From the start, which which words did you already know of? Like cheese without meat. even me asking about it. Cheese miss, we know cheese miss. Maybe the easy ones like azul, like Ay, miércoles. Azul, verde. Like similar, yeah. Yeah, the numbers as well, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Míralo a él, está guapo. Ajá, está enojado. Ah, ya, okay, okay, está bueno. Okay, so before we end, Sol and Luna, tell us about your channel and tell us what your plan is here in the Philippines. Yeah, so we are here to do vlogging and to meet Filipinos and to fanger. <laughs> yeah, Filipino artists because when we started the channel, we started reacting to Filipino mm -hmm. artists. So. Yes, and we fell in love with the music, we fell in love with the culture in general, and we decided to travel to the other side of the world uh -huh. just so we could go to concerts and meet our artists and also like meet people and just to travel in general. Uh -huh. so. 
We're gonna be here for around six months. If you are interested in our adventures here in the Philippines, you can subscribe to our channel. It's Sol and Luna TV. YouTube and Twitter and Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. Todo con el mismo nombre. En cum... Ah, no, en cum no. Todavía no. No yet. Próximamente. Pero si todas las redes con el mismo nombre, Sol Luna TV. Ok, good. Gracias, chicas. Gracias. Adiós. Gracias por la invitación, Eric. Y gracias a toda tu audiencia hermosa. Y espero que sigan interesados en Filipinas y en los lazos que nos unen a los filipinos y a los latinos. Yes. And I'll invite you to, guys, learn Spanish so you can open, you know, the links between our cultures. This side of the world that is your brother, your cousin. Your cousin from yeah. another culturally, continent. <laughs> How do you like the Philippines so far, guys? It's great. Very good. It's awesome. It's beautiful. There's a lot of buildings that are very tall. <laughs> There's a lot of handsome men around. Really? Yes. Good. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> We're going to travel around to meet people to know places and to learn more about the culture yes and for the people who are listening they're trying to learn spanish right so what would be a tip that you can give to them so that they can learn spanish easier the vowels have the same sounds in spanish and in tagalog so if you are going to read something just think as you it would be pronounced in tagalog Another tip would be to learn the words that are similar in Spanish and Tagalog or words that come from Spanish so you already know the vocabulary and remember the vocabulary. Only the spelling will be a little bit different and you just have to practice how to write the words. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys. Ciao!